Okay, so this is a tutorial video for guitar for the song Hoops, uh, electric guitar. So we should have our lead sheet here, and basically there's sort of three or four parts that you need to know, and some of them are the same but a little bit different. So the first thing you need to know for the intro and the instrumental is the riff. <laughs> There's that, and then there's the chords uh, for the chorus. And I'll teach you how to play those. And uh, then there's this little um, part, which goes like this. Um, a little, little lick. And then... The only thing I think you need to know is the parts in the bridge, which sounds like this. So they're the only four parts, so I'll start with the riff. Um, uh, you want to start here on the 4th fret of the low E, that's a G sharp note. Then we want it with our pinky, it, well it doesn't really matter, you can play it, whatever, the fingers don't matter, but this is how the correct way to do it. Pinky on the 4th fret low E, um, then you play the 2nd fret of the A string, and that's a B note, so we've got G sharp, B, then here is a, is a D sharp on the 1st fret of the D string. And we hit that twice. And we just go backwards. So that counts like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ah, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. So that's the first half. Then we got this note, which is an E on the second fret of the... D string, notice I'm using whichever fret is corresponding to my finger, first, second, third, fourth. That's an E, and then we go to a B. We played that earlier. So B is on the second fret of the A string. And then we go back to our D sharp. So we got second half is um, E, B, D sharp, D sharp, G sharp. So all together, it goes. So if you need to rehear that or work on it, you can just rewind it. So that's 25% of what we need. Um, then we need to learn the chord. Um, for this one, I'm going to use my fingers, but you can keep using the pick. It doesn't really matter. Um, here, the fingers do become important. The fingers do become important here. So we want to start here on um, the ninth fret of the B string. And that is a G sharp note. Then we want to play that with our ring. And then our pointer goes here on the 8th fret of the G string and then our ring finger, excuse me, our middle finger plays the ninth fret as well on the D string. So, ring, pointer, middle. And that fits comfortably in your hand. And you play, you put the fingers down in that order to practice them. That's a G sharp minor triad. Then we've got our B, so we start here with our B note on the 7th fret of the high E, and we've also got to hit that note and use the same finger to play two notes, the 7th fret of the B string, that's an, an, uh, an F sharp note, and then our m middle finger plays um, the 8th fret of the uh, G string. So those together... So we've got G sharp minor and B. Then we've got a D7. So we sort of put the pointer finger across the lowest four strings. And that's called a bar. And our middle finger goes here on this C sharp note. And we play it like this. 
So, so far we got G sharp, B, D sharp, and then we got G sharp again, and now we get a new chord which is E. So that sounds like this, so we got pointer, 7th fret, high E, pinky, ninth fret B, ring finger, ninth fret G. And we put them down in that order. So we got... Then we go to B again, we already know that one. Then we got D7 again, we already know that one. Then G sharp minor. So it's just repeating those. So that chord progression is written on your sheet. G sharp, B, D7, G sharp minor. E, B, D sharp 7, G minor. And that, that matches this. You can hear it. You can hear it inside there. That's why we get you to play like that. Okay, so that's the second part. Um, then we got this lick. Um, so if I count that out, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and, and okay. So that one you'll just have to listen to the song to know when to play it. But you go pinky here, twelfth fret of the B string. That's a B note. Back to that G sharp note from before. One, two, three, four, one and two and like that's a bit syncopated. Then we go um uh we have this G sort of fits inside here. So we have middle finger on the 8th uh, fret of the G. Okay, before it was that pointer, but we're going to get a middle finger here. And then ring finger, ninth fret of the B. And then pinky, um, excuse me, pointer on the 7th fret of the high E. And we go back. And we slide to the B. And pointer goes back. And that's a really cool part in the song. So, two, three, four. Uh, let me do that again. So that's what it should sound like. That's the third thing you need to know. And then the last thing you need to know um, is the chords of the bridge. So that's G sharp minor, you already know that one. Then we have a new one which is F sharp major. So what we're going to do there, we should already know this one, we'll practice. Middle finger, um, sixth fret of the high E, ring finger, seventh fret of the B, pointer finger, sixth fret of the G. So it's just this D shape moved up. So, so far we got this is in the bridge. And then back to our E from before. B from before. E from before. B from before. E from before. F sharp that we just learned. Then we repeat all that again. Then to finish it, we go E, D sharp. So the bridge sounds like this. That's what has the fermata, so we wait for that for the chorus to come in. And that's all the parts for hoops for the guitar.